Thank you, Vladimir Putin, for sending these boxes. It's a tent. We have Russian bear tent. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of them before, but that's their logo right there, okay? They are literally Russian. Nope, that's my address, oh, Abram. That's the sorry. logo. <laughs> we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've never ever done this before and uh, never really wanted to, but we're going to be doing it anyways. What this is is a hot tent setup. Now, this is literally the ultimate hot tent setup. As you can see, the big old box on the bottom, it's like a 10 foot go. Looks like a basketball go, but it ain't. That's the tent. What we're working with here is a, I think it's like a seven to nine person tent or five to seven person tent. It's a small house. That's what the big thing is. Then right here, we're working with the Russian bear tent. And this is literally a Russian company that sells stuff to Americans. This is cool. And I can't read anything that's on them. No, I I'm just, this out. I don't know about you, but I'm just looking at pictures trying to figure out what stuff is. So this right here, I know it's a cot because I'm the one that picked it out, but I don't know what any of it actually says. Literally at all. Like, I just have to look at the picture to know what this is. We got the tent, we got a cot, we got like a floor mat, which is the thing that goes on the ground before it. What's that? Oh, that's a chair, but it's a really big chair. Then that's a table, and then this right here is the really cool thing. This is what puts the hot in hot tent. Sheesh! Oh man, it's bussin a, bussin. a box inside of a box? Dude, is that a pair of Dude, gloves? what is this? What the Dude, heck? This is, what is this? This is big. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, this is the stove. You put wood in, it keeps you warm, you can cook with it, whatever you want to. There's a bunch of stuff in here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what all it does. They smell like Play-Doh. What is this? Got a big fish on it? Is that a duffel bag or is that... I couldn't tell you what that said if my life depended on it. B... No, that is not a B. Weird looking five. E... P... E pet. E part. Something like that. Looks like a trout. Copart. Copart, yeah. Buy them cars. Used. Wrecked. Anyways, we got the gloves. We got this thing. I think we just literally just have to dig into all this. Long story short, this is the ultimate hot tenting setup. And so we're just going to throw on a time lapse of us attempting to set it up the best we can. It should be interesting and entertaining to watch us try to put this up. I, I honestly think that it's going to take a long time because there's a lot of stuff here and I don't even know where to start. I can't even set up a regular tent. Me neither, dude. I think that we that's should. Why I'm, but I'm, that's why I'm going to let you do it. And before we start building it, the reason I'm wanting to set up this hot tent is not because I'm a bushcrafter, okay? This ain't going to be one of them survival videos. You ain't going to see me out here rubbing sticks. But I'm going to be building a little campsite to where I can hunt more efficiently. This is going to be for like a four-day hunting trip. Setting up and living in the tent so that I can more efficiently hunt the animals that I'm hunting. And I'm going to be hunting and trapping and fishing a little bit of everything. But now that I told you that, let's assemble this... Uh, Vladimir Putin bear team. All right, we got the big camera and uh, me and Abram's in the tent. We're trying to figure out how to hook the heater up. Kendall's going to get the stuff we need to warm the tent. It's actually really warm in here right now. I don't know how but i think this right here is where the stove goes abram where's the legs at right here's where the stove goes out all right boys so i'm just Shoot. rummaging through some of the stuff and i'm like what is this and they sent us a smoke alarm with the stove the tent and Abram, he was already here, but they offer him for ten ninety nine. But now I'm here. KG is here. Look at this. This is a house. A small house. We got generators. House, this video is actually brought to you by me, but it's sponsored by Jackery. <laughs> now, yeah, we're out here. We got a cool stove and everything, but I ain't no bushcrafter, okay? I ain't no Amish. I like my electricity. And so that's where Jackery's coming in big. What this is is like a portable power bank that is quiet. And what's even cooler about it is that we have solar panels right out here and while we're setting up the tent on the first day we're gonna go ahead and let the beat sun be powering this baby up now as you can see right now it's actually kind of cloudy but it is supposed to clear up towards the end of the day so we'll just let it you know be charging while we go at it you can look at it right here this is the explorer 1000 it's my favorite because it's big enough to power as much as i need but still portable enough to where i can still pack it in and out and even in some woods a little bit if i need to 
It's got three AC outlets and a bunch of different forms of DC outlets, like a car charger thing, a USB type C, and a few USBs right there. We've used this thing quite a bit, and right now it currently has 60% battery life. For me, I'm not too worried about that because I do have solar panels literally right here that I'm going to go ahead and start charging it back up with. Those solar panels are sweet. They are sick, dude. You just set these up, and this will plug right into there, and it'll just charge it just like that. But as for now, I'm just going to fold this out. set it up about right there that way it is pointed in the direction the sun is going to be and it's lighting up blue that's showing that it is charging probably not a lot since it's foggy outside but it'll clear up by the end of the day here's what we're working with a solar panel right there the generator right back there and as for now we're just going to get back in there and keep building our tent Dude, like this is looking pretty epic. With this little stove, you can control how much air goes in, which is essentially like a throttle in a way. Not only is this providing heat, also providing light and a way to cook. Dude, shh, shh. there's an animal. Do you hear that? There's something right outside the tent. Oh my gosh, it's over there about the thing. How does that work? Oh, there's like Dude, there's something over there at our tent. Oh my goodness, dude. How many layers is there? Oh my goodness. It's Steven. What are you doing, Steven? Anyway, Steven, please don't scare us anymore. Thank you, bye. Now this is what the, this is a god. We got the fire right here. I'll be sleeping, I'll be like, Ooh. More wood. More wood. We got a table that's halfway put together. More wood. We're about to light up real quick. Everything's pretty much ready and rocked and ready to rock and rolling. We got a chair. We got a table. We got a hot stove. We got a Cop. bed. We got a Jackery generator outside, which is charging. Link in description. We can even put lights on it and have the Jackery power them that is really cool like all these little tabs are here mm -hmm. that's those are coming handy big time so yeah let's go ahead and light this thing up we're going to use this pizza box to start it and then we got some wood right here and uh, we're going to try to keep the wood in there that way we don't get wood chips everywhere because we're going to try to keep this clean that's why our boots are outside hopefully steve doesn't eat them i'll just set these in there kind of like that I guess. I don't know. i'm not too big on the on the boy scout kind of stuff but i do know that if i can get uh, wood on top of a fire for long enough, it should burn. All right, here we go. All right, we're just gonna literally just set that in there. I got this, I got this. See all that smoke? You know where the smoke's not going? In the tent. That's insane because none of it's coming out Not here. a single bit. And it's almost like it's sucking the thing up because that's just what it does, I think. Ah, it's my eyes, I can't see. And now I'm gonna put this thing on it. And I'm going to leave it wide open so that as much oxygen that can get into it can. If I want to cut the fire off, all i got to do is slide this all the way over. I'm going to leave it about right there. The less oxygen you give it, the slower it will burn. The less hot it will burn. Which is good if, you want, if you're going to bed and you want the fire to uh, slowly burn. Here's the thing. If y'all watch my channel a lot, you'll probably know this. But I'm not really a big fan of uh, survival camping at all but this with a, a wood burning stove and a roof and uh what's this called a cot a cot a and bed. a table and a jackery generator listen i can get used to this i mean i might get used to it i might not but i feel like i can, I can get me a big tv put it up play some xbox or you something really could. this is kind of camping i'm ready to do this is what's called glamping it is starting to get warm though 
Yeah, I know. Like, you can feel I, it right here, Me too. right here, I can feel that really good, and it's just a few twigs burning at this point. But as for now, we're going to let that burn on out, and then we're going to go set a trap, because hopefully I'll catch a raccoon or possum or something and eat it right over here. Then we're going to set up trail cameras around the perimeter, and then we're going to be getting ready for a deer hunt, which is the reason I came here in the first place, way up top on the ridge. This right here is awesome. This is very cool. We could easily put a light right there in the middle, too. Oh, yeah. Easy. And then the jackery could You could put off. a jackery over there in the corner and just run an extension cord with an with a power strip on it. Power anything you want anywhere. Have basically unlimited power if you got sun. Yeah. Let's go set the trap. We'll come back. We'll close all the doors, and we'll see how warm it is. All right, guys. Here's where we're going to be setting the trap. It's right over here. There's a bunch of big woods over here. There's some younger woods over there, but that don't really matter. We're setting a dog-proof coon trap. These things can catch raccoons, possums, and skunks. And for bait, I'm going to be using these sardines right here. Pretty simple. I'm just in the area where coons are, so I'm just going to strap it to this tree and then uh, bait it up, and we'll be good to go like that. About like that. So that whenever a raccoon's walking down through here and smells something, he'll just see that there's a big old dirt pile right here and assume that whatever he's smelling originates right here, as it does. And they're nice and tight. I'll just crack open these sardines, let the juices go everywhere, which is good and fine and dandy. And just stick the sardines right down in the trap, all the way to the bottom. Just like that. Now, as you can see, there is some still on the ground, and that's okay, because the raccoon's going to come up, eat some of this on the ground. He's going to know that he really likes the taste of it, and then that's going to encourage him to just keep on digging. But since we're in a pretty good area, I'm going to pull out this trail camera, and I'm going to set it right over here on one of these trees and just watching this pretty this little courtyard area, and uh, maybe we'll see what kind of other animals have been moving in the area. The animals I'm really interested in are one, deer because that's what i'm hunting two squirrels because that's also what i'm hunting three raccoons because that's also what i'm trapping and then pretty much anything else that's on trail camera so i'm pretty much interested in anything that walks in front of the camera i'm going to set it right here looking out into that there's a feeder over there but there's not been anything in it for a long time so i'll set this camera to photo and video mode now the camera we're using is a kg trail camera the reason i really like these is because i make them and sell them but i also like them especially in the scenario we're in because it has an lcd screen that you can view your footage here at the tree so you don't have to take it all the way back home to view it in a computer all right we're moving in we're really close to the camp right now. We're within 50 yards. Got the trail camera. What's really cool is because in the snow, you can actually look and see where the path of the animals are. Check this out. Easily right through here. You can also see right here, you can see that this main trail goes out to one and two separate trails. So I'm actually gonna set it on that tree right there where it can watch right here and see everything that happens on this trail 20 yards from the camp. Turn it on. And it's now ready to go. Right now, it is 2.23 in the evening, so I think it's about time for me to go ahead and get my hunting stuff on, get my bow out, and I'm gonna head way up on top of the ridge and wait and do some deer hunting, try to get a big buck. That's the plan. Will it work out? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Well, boys, last night, winter storm Elsa swept through the Kentucky landscape. As Blake Shelton once sang, no when to hold them, no when to fold them, no when to walk away, and no when to run. And last night, me and Ethan ran for our everlasting lives. As you can see, it was a good decision, because our hot tent is down. And I do not know what to do about it, but we're going to investigate. Cause I'm an investigator. Sheesh, that's a lot of snow, brother. We got like five or eight inches, something right around there. Uh, the door's over here. I know that. I, I literally don't even know what to do. Like, what am I supposed to do about it? I don't even know where to start. Like, I mean, I'd say opening the door would be a good one, so that's probably what I'll do, but. I was not prepared for this at all. Like, I knew it was gonna snow, but I didn't know my Russian hot tent was gonna fall down or whatever it did. First, get it out the door. My goodness, we gotta dig this out like I live in Michigan. I ain't in no Michigan, I'm in Kentucky. I ain't used to this stuff. I shouldn't have to be done. Now. 
see what it looks like. Is everything crushed? <laughs> yeah, pretty much it is. Here's my theory, guys. My theory is that if we'd been in there for real, we'd had the fire going, none of that snow would have probably actually set on top. But I'm gonna go in there and take this box. I'm gonna restart the fire, push up on the middle, and maybe I can uh, heat some of that snow off and just let it melt or something. First thing, is it even possible for me to push this thing up? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not. Not at all. I'll try, though. Worst case scenario, I just get crushed by ice. <laughs> Ugh. That might be exactly what happens. Ah! Uh. Oh my goodness! It's going down. At least if I was sleeping in the car, I'd have been all right. I'm doing it. Y'all can't see it, but I'm doing it. I just did it. I just saved the world. Maybe not the whole world, but my world. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the whole pipe's gone. It's up there. Boom, 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 boom. We'll try not to get. Oh, well, there goes that. I need that piece. I may have just recovered our trip and got us back online. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. There we go. I'll let that catch. There's what it's looking like. I got a little piece of 2 by 4 and then two logs laid over it. And then just that, uh, just the cardboard under that should catch pretty fast. And then this place should really start heating up. Am I going to burn myself, I guess? Probably. Anyways, tragedy in the snow, fully recovered. Sup, Steve? How you doing? I think we'll be good. I think we'll be real good. Yeah. Well, boys, we didn't eat, we didn't eat, we didn't eat. We didn't even get to stay a night in it since it caved in and it already bl literally blew away. The mat's over there. Where's the stove? I, I'm not I'm not going to point fingers, but I'm not the one that was in charge of staking it down. Where's the stove at? Where's the steaks at? I don't know. I, there's a couple in there maybe. I think I think y'all I thought we could get away with it. What? I thought we could get away with it. I didn't think we had no Hurricane Katrina winds blowing. And the tent ended up over here because there was a cot in there. There was a table in there. And the stove is what I'm most worried about. Where's yeah, there's a stove in there somewhere. Yeah, we're probably going to open it and there's going to be embers just... I mean, y'all y'all did, uh, y'all did stake down something, but you didn't stake down the tent. The mat's good. Yeah, the mat's here. The tent's not. Nope. I don't know. Go investigate. See what you can figure out. I don't even know which way's up. We'll find out. It smells like wood in here. I think Kanye had something to do with it. Let's see what it even looks oh, like in there. Oh no. Dude. <laughs> it's it's just piled up in there. Everything's just piled up. <laughs> There's the top. Where? Over there. Oh, over there's the top, I guess. Come on. <laughs> Hopefully the stove ain't broke. Or holes in the tent. I'm gonna guess it was like 
Windy. Hot air balloon. Oof. Long story short, it blew away again. What is our next step? I think we should get everything out I, of it. I think that too. That's a good point. I think, alright, first step, get everything out of it and then try to reorient it the way it was made to be. Alright guys, it's been a little while. We've done a lot of work to it. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to set it up the way the instructions told us to. We're going to actually tie it off to places and uh, run tie down cords so that the wind can't steal it again. And we're also going to put the post up in the middle of the tent that actually holds the top up. Good idea. Yeah. We're going to build the biggest fire we can on the inside and just try to evaporate as much water and vapor as we can because it is unfortunately soaked on the inside. Little update, we got inside. We're about uh we're about the same place we was three days ago. There we go. The fire's going. Our plan is to get this thing smoking hot, which you can see the snow on the pipe, it should stop. Should start melting pretty soon because there's a there's a fire in it. Man did. It's kind of crazy because this video started out pretty good. We was, you know, setting up our hot tent in the snow, getting settled in. And then ever since about halfway in the video, which is when we got done setting up the tent, we literally just had to restart. The blizzard came and caved it in. Then I came in here the day after and pushed it out and fixed it. Then the day after that, the blizzard blew it away. So we started at ground zero again yeah i know that this video hasn't exactly got, went as planned at, at at all like at all but this is only part one of what is supposed to be a three-part series all right guys we're gonna we're gonna try our best we'll catch you guys next episode because this video is over